do. Once upon a time. And apparently not so far from here. A long, long time ago. Uh, there was a, a newcomer, a newbie in the vernacular. Uh, his name was Shamba. And uh, he went to his very first event. It was called Nuts and Bolts. It was about armoring and um, clothes. Um, what you guys are all doing. <laughs> um, yep, fiber arts. And he went to a uh, class on shield making, um, even though he didn't have any of the materials to make a shield. And he went to a class on embroidery, taught by a very intelligent and extremely dangerous woman. <laughs> um, I mean, I've been in longer than you have? Yep. Holy sheep. Uh, and then he got into his garb because the rest of the, the the rest of the event was actually all over the city. So you didn't need to be in the garb then. For the dessert revel at the end, we did. And uh, so he got into his newbie garb, the garb that he wore to the uh, Renaissance Fair. His brown jeans, his brown fuzzy shirty thing with a brown vest over it, and. Uh, old brown riding boots that were so old the hobnails were showing. And I went to a place called the Aqua Community Center, uh, which is not far from here. And uh, got there, sampled some of the desserts, which were all very period desserts. And so his 18 year old American palate didn't really think it was so keen. But since it was Yara Butler, they also had a bowl of goldfish, so he was happy. <laughs> he loved the goldfish. And so he sat down and uh, sat back, looked around, and tried to figure out what it was to be in this whole SCA. And he found out shortly because a young woman from a distant barony, who went by the name of Marwin, uh, dropped herself in his lap. <laughs> And introduced him to the concept of flirting. <laughs> he liked this much better than the period desserts. <laughs> because he was, after all, an 18 year old male. An 18 year old male. With an American palate. With an American palate. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to leave it right there. <laughs> I'm being recorded. <laughs> She's still cute. She's still adorable, absolutely. Uh, so, uh, the conversation went hither and yon, and it eventually turned to the subject of dance. Now, Chandler didn't have a lot to say about this, because Chandler could No, 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 said Marwin. Everyone in the SCA dances. <laughs> That's nice, said Chandler, but you know what? I don't dance. Marwin said, well... Everyone in the essay at least dances Road to the Eyes. <laughs> you have to learn to dance Road to the Eyes. It's more of a combat. Chandler says, dance. no, 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 I don't. Wait a minute. I think a Road to an Island. Korobushka <laughs> <laughs> would be. Yeah, Korobushka would have been more. Combat. Yeah. Um, actually, Korobushka, I have some ideas for it. Anyway. <laughs> Do you know the sheer number of songs you can dance that song to? Wipeout springs to mind. Uh, <laughs> Wipeout, Flying by the Beatles. Um, I found a bunch of other ones. Uh, the Adams Family. You're going to Adams Family. Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> Where was I? Dancing. Right. How do you get the road to an island? How do you get a road to an island? That makes no sense. But uh, with her wily feminine charm, she convinced him that it would be a great idea to learn this dance. Time. And he, uh, 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 there was no room in the main hall, there being tables and people. And so they went to the kitchen, where a noble and handy, uh, beautiful, gorgeous young woman, um, Shaba, <laughs> um, who I just realized is very safe to be behind the camera. <laughs> and so maybe I should have thought of this thing first. Um, who was there preparing something? Do you remember? Yeah, it was something. <laughs> but there was